Hi Libra, welcome to my channel. This is your four card intuitive weekly spread. The messages that may come up for you here today may be applicable for the next seven days. So let's have a look and see what's coming up for you in the week ahead for the sign of Libra. I will be using a couple of decks here. The first one being the Secret Language of Light Tarot followed by the Rider Waite deck here as well. Let's have a look and see what the weekly theme is for those born under the sign of Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you're heavily dominated by the element of Libra in your chart. Let's see what's coming up for you for the week ahead. Libra, the week ahead. Soul Journey. Okay, you're ready to start a new chapter this week here, Libra. Um, embarking on a new journey there's a new horizon that awaits and you're going up this this majestic imagery here you are traveling up this staircase staircase to heaven so to speak i feel like you're coming up um this is this is a moment of elevation here a, a moment of progress or a moment where you'll be rising up above standards here okay this is stepping out of the shadow of your past Okay, new matters that you will decide from this moment on. Okay, this is quite groundbreaking. It's you trying to understand a reason for, for you being um, at the point where you are. Um, it is about you moving forward, understanding your experiences and motives. Um, experience helps us handle crisis better. Um, but deliberately and consciously, you're choosing to start a new chapter in your life. Um, it's, you know, this is you pioneering something major potentially in the week ahead. Let's have a look with the, using the Rider Weight deck to see how this translates for you, soul journey. Okay, the Queen of Wands, the Seven of Wands, and the Knight of Cups. Okay, there's a lot of blues here and we do see the ocean. So I'm not sure if you're dealing with a water sign here. There's also a stairway up to the heavens. So this could be air. Um, you also have the Queen of Wands, which is a Leo here. So some of you may be dealing with a Leo. Um, this is you opening yourself up to something here. The Queen of Wands rules spirituality and she's very open. She's very open-minded. So I see there's something you're opening up to here, Libra. Um... It could be spirituality, it could be superstition, but it's also, it could be, it could have a sexual undertone to it as well, because the Queen of Wands oozes sexuality. She's very sensual, she looks very fertile, um, and she's embracing a very strong feminine role here. So I do believe whatever this is happening around you, potentially with a Leo, um, it's you also coming into leadership because the lion leads the pride. The lion is, is quite a prestigious, uh, regal animal. And to come into that energy, Libra, says that you are, become, you are governing your own decisions. I do think some of you are going to be very open. I think you're going to be open-minded to someone coming on a journey here with you. I'm not sure if you were previously resistant to this opportunity or this person, this connection, but I see an openness because the Queen of Wands holds much more power than the Seven of Wands. And in fact, you taking a chance and, and making that person be a part of your soul journey is going to take you higher. Um, this is a connection. It's, it's quite a high level conscious connection, which shows there's a lot of spirituality and there's a lot of enlightened energy around you and this other person. So you're becoming much more open and receptive. You're also attracting the right kind of people into your experience here. People that are like-minded and open-minded to you here, Libra. And there's a reason why they're going to be a part of your journey. They've got something to offer you. It's not for nothing. The Knight of Cups is... It shows complexity of life, you know, the transition of life moving from one chapter or another. And it basically is a brand new chapter that opens itself up to you in the upcoming week. And there's a lot of fruitfulness that can come of this. The beautiful flower, um, the yellows here, this shows that the sun will shine on this union. The sun will shine on your path. If you're looking for a path and you're wanting to start a new chapter in your life, maybe a new connection, a new relationship, a new creative undertaking, this is the prime time for you to do this, Libra. So this is very, very exciting. It's also domination in your field. Remember how I spoke about that stairway to heaven, so to speak? <clears throat> this could be you be dominating a relationship, dominating 
a career sense dominating the workplace here as well. It's you coming into a lot. It's a fierceness around you here, Libra. So I love that you'll be embracing and you'll be open to this energy here. However, you do have the Seven of Wands sitting next to the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is more powerful than the Seven of Wands, yes. But the Seven of Wands is resistance. And I do believe what I'm seeing here is something that you were previously resistant to in the upcoming week, something is going to change within you and suddenly you'll want it on your soul journey. Suddenly you see it on the horizon here. So you may have not seen this before, Libra. You didn't picture yourself being in this situation or being with this person. And it's something you deemed you couldn't embark on or something you deemed, you know, this person maybe is not your type or this, this scenery, this is not your scene or this isn't meshing well with you. This is about to change and that resistance is going to fade away because it's only temporary. It's nestled in between these two energies and they're very open, these two. Um, so whatever you thought, you know, this unexpected journey, perhaps something new that you were once resistant to, if you have been dealing with a fire sign, or even if you've been dealing with any sign and you've seen fire energy, so you might have seen impulsiveness, you might have seen resistance, you might have seen anger, you might have seen quite a fierce energy around this person. I do believe they're going to come, they're going to come around and suddenly look at this water here. It's flat, it's level, it's, it's something about levels here, but spiritually the level goes up so i honestly think whatever this is that's happening libra you're going to learn something from it and if this is a person you've been dealing with they are going to learn something significant and suddenly the horizon looks pretty promising and not as bleak as it once did perhaps but it's all about you taking a chance on that new chapter you've got the number nine there's an ending that's coming to fruition here this is the ending of a cycle and a new cycle begins here. You know, you're transitioning from a barren land into something more complex, into something that looks more promising, more challenging. Um, there could be a water sign here around you. I did mention water with the, or this beautiful water energy, a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio. Or this is someone that's coming in with genuine emotion. I like what the Knight of Cups represents because I feel like he's traveled far and wide to get to where he is now. So I think if there has been someone that's been trying to connect with you, I felt like they've come a long way or they've tried to establish trust. They've tried to make them change your opinion of them maybe. They've tried to do a lot for you to notice them, Libra. And I honestly think it's working and suddenly you see them. Suddenly a light shines around them and you're connecting with them. It can be this water sign. It can be someone making you an offer. And if there is someone making you an offer in the next week, I believe it's all part of your soul journey here in the physical life. So this is quite nice. Um, it's almost like the universe is speaking to you. You know, God is speaking to you, is reaching out through this person here, this wonderful offering here. I also see the Knight of Cups as a confession. So for some of you, there may be a confession here from yourself or from a significant other that's going to be made, that's going to be met with resistance, but then the Queen of Wands is openness. There's a little bit of mysticism and even paranoia. It's superstition because she's quite superstitious. So it might be something you feel has been around you for quite some time, Libra. It might have been a hunch. It might have been a realization. Perhaps you've realized someone's done something here for you that's going to impact your journey with them. Initially, I do see it, the confession. It's sort of like backwards here, the confession, resistance, and then that openness and accepting energy and allowing things to flourish in all their beauty. But before this happens, I do think you've got a bit of a journey um, ahead. But things on the horizon are looking good. You may encounter some challenges, what looks like this iceberg here. So it's not going to be without challenges, but ultimately there's someone around you that's genuinely there, that's genuinely present, that genuinely wants to cross this river, will cross rivers, will cross far and wide to be with you, Libra. So that's, that's speaking volumes, that's testament to how honest they are, how truthful they are, and how much you actually mean to them. And again, it could be anyone important around you, a friend, a sibling, uh, maybe someone you've fallen out with, a lover, but it's it speaks volumes of how they're truly feeling and where you stand with them because they're looking to the future. They're looking to the horizon here. They're wanting to move forward with you. I feel like there's an open opportunity. You just have to travel the stairs. 
but with each step you learn something it's all part of the journey this person right now that's around you is going to help you in some way they're going to help you see something or they're going to help you open up um whether you're aware of this this happening now or in the week in the coming week there there's a reason why they've come i think they've come with purity they've come with emotion and like i said they're going to awaken feelings within you and help you become more open-minded to something here so there's an openness um, that you'll endeavor to undertake in the upcoming week absolutely um, I will leave it at that though, Libra. I hope this reading has been insightful. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing.